you get 30 free days. That's right, 30 days free. 30 days absolutely free. Experience Kingston's fastest growing workout with 30 days of free instruction in the most effective martial arts systems. That's right, Martial Arts Axis is so convinced, if you try it, you'll buy it. We're giving you the first 30 days free. Let our self-defense martial arts systems of Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, and submission wrestling turn you into a lean, mean fighting machine. Call 613-214-2305. That's 613-214-2305. And remember, your first 30 days are free, and you're under no obligation to get into the best shape of your life, meet new friends, or learn to defend yourself with our world-class martial arts program here in Kingston at Martial Arts Axis. Just call 613-214-2305. That's 613-214-2305. Like I said, the 30 days are free, so call now. I've lost like 30 pounds. Uh, my wife's proud of me. My martial arts access is one of the best things I've done for myself. I really enjoyed my time here. I learned a lot pretty quickly. Uh, they don't just throw you into something you can't do. They teach you stuff that, you know, is capable for anybody, even a new guy. It's just, um, I saw it a fun with a bunch of good guys. And yeah, you just need to come check it out at least once. So first thing we're going to do is, is called the rear naked choke and we're all going to do it to our own legs. So we're going to everyone to sit at least with one leg up like this. Usually if you're right handed you'd want it to be on your right hand side, okay? So this is your opponent's neck. Now what we have to do is we have to make our little uh, corkscrew here, okay? And you're going to stick one knuckle out. And like I said in the beginning it's going to sound out of context but when we put everything together it'll make more sense. You usually want it to be the first knuckle and you want to find the skin and you want to get used to digging that knuckle across the skin and through and see I'm twisting it, that's why we call it the corkscrew. Okay, so I start here. It feels silly because there's nothing there but it'll make sense when you have your partner here with you. So you're corkscrewing it through to the other side. You go to the other side, you make a grip. See how my hands are like this? It's called a gable grip. You make two hooks and you literally just hook your hands together. Okay, and then you get a nice tight grip. So I drill this through, come to the other side, I get my grip and then I pull my arm Okay, to tighten it up, and so my elbow is underneath. So when you choke someone, you want to try to have the elbow underneath here because there's a V to my neck, and when I have a V in my arm, I try to want to have the V aligned with their neck. Okay, now that you get here, now what I'm going to do is see how my top hand, this this hand, my top hand, and my bottom hand, my top hand just slides down to the to the arm to the bicep, and the other hand goes on top of the knee. Now one thing here is if you've just got this, it's going to be really weak. If you can fit your more of your arm through, the better, okay? Because the more of your arm through that you get, like if you can grab the back of your tricep, it's going to be much tighter, okay? Much, much, much tighter. Now that you have this, just as an experiment to show you guys, just squeeze your leg. Just squeeze your leg a little and then let go. Squeeze your leg a little and then let go, okay? Keep the grip here. Hi, my name is Mazin Osman. Uh, the reason why I joined Mixed Martial Arts is I'm a big fan of Jiu-Jitsu, a big fan of MMA and all. The reason why I picked this one is because basically 30-day free trial and then also the people here are very great. you got good teachers, you even got student teachers that help you out. So it's really good and I would suggest anybody else who loves the sport to join. Now, if you're doing this to an un unskilled, untrained opponent, you're not going to have to struggle as much. But Justin's pretty hip. Okay, he knows he knows what's up. So he's defending with his arms crossed. Relax, relax. He's defending with his arms crossed like this. The reason why he's defending with his arms crossed like this and not with his hands on the same side is because these muscles are not very strong. We're not very strong this way. But I'm very strong if I grab something and I can pull down with it. This is a very strong motion, right? Much stronger. So he has his arms crossed, defending. So I can't just come around and hug him. So what I have to do is I have to take my corkscrew. I'm going to find the top of his ear and I go in until I find the back of his jaw. And now with my finger, I twist it through all the way to the other side where I grab my hand. So we're here, I find the top of his ear, I find the jaw. Look, I crank and I twist it all the way through to the other side and I clasp my hands together. Now that my hands are clasped, this forearm goes against his back. <coughs> because he might try to defend. He might try and pull my arm down, right? I don't want to lose any space once I've made it. Now I've got this, I can pull and pull and tighten it, and put this behind his neck, and then I'm going to slowly, just so everyone gets used to it, I'm going to squeeze my back muscles, and then squeeze my arms. Okay? 
And his hand was in there, and I still got the choke. Okay. So, are you going to do that? Everyone's going to partner up. Just try that. Just get your arm through. Tighten it. Okay. Practice bracing it. Tighten it up. Hand behind the head. Squeeze your back muscles, and then your. Hi, my name is Sean Morin. I'm a student at Martial Art Axis. Um, just a quick testimonial. I was really nervous about coming originally. I was procrastinating. Uh, my good friend Daryl, who owns this school, encouraged me to come out. Came out for the first time. It was amazing. Um, not only is Daryl as a sensei amazing, but the rest of the guys are amazing. They make you feel absolutely comfortable. Um, nobody's here to hurt you. Everyone's here to learn. And uh, it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. And uh, my wife's proud of me. My kids are proud of me. Daryl's proud of me. Everybody's proud of me. So. so before we use that grip for the rear naked choke, tighten it up behind the head. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it from kind of a side. Okay, so your partner's going to sit here like this. You're going to take one hand. You're going to shoot it underneath and clasp, clasp your hands together. It's still that same gable grip. Okay? So I'm here like this. Now with this arm, instead of on their back, I'm going to wrench his head down and flip him over. Okay? Using my chest to push them over a bit. I'm going to push the head down and stuff my arm really deep. And I come and I get the same grip. And now when I finish the choke, I'm putting my chest, I'm squeezing. Go ahead and tap if, you, if you're feeling okay. And now you're pushing the chest and your arm in. So what's happening is that my arm on the bottom is blocking the one side of his neck. And then I'm with my chest, I'm pushing, I'm pushing this into his throat and neck on the other side. Okay, it's called the Darce choke. So just like before, we went under, clasped the hands, tightened it up, went to the back of the head. Here I'm under here, I clasp my hands. And instead of the back, right, the form on the back, the forearms on the head, and I use that to pull them over. Okay, we're not going under any resistance right now, so it should be okay. Now with this, you push the head down and you get your elbow really deep. Same grip. You guys see the same grip I'm doing here? Clasp it up. My hand, I try to reach for his armpit, and then I push in. I put my weight, good, I squeeze, and I put my weight, my chest, on that arm, not on the shoulder. I'm on, like, their triceps, trying to mash that arm into their throat, because that's what blocks the other side. Okay? So it's almost this exact same hand grip. It's just there in a different Martial arts axis is awesome. If you're choosing a class, like I was skeptical when I first came in because it's like a small class, looks like a, a, a sketchy place. But I mean, once you talk to Daryl, he'll sell you to it. Like it's awesome. Like he's so friendly, lets you come in. He'll, even if you come in and there's an off number, like if you're being one person, he'll have one of the, tr the, the coaches roll with you. So you're having almost like a one on one roll. It's just awesome and it's it's just the best for your money you learn lots it's totally worth it cool make itself right so last time my part partner was on all fours right and i came in on the side here and i did my dart choke i bowled them over all this okay now what i'm actually just going to do on all fours is i'm just going to connect my hands like this okay under his chin so I'm here, I get this in, I connect my hands tight. I'm connecting my hands like this, and I'm pulling tight. Okay? This one, I'm going to say be very careful with. Okay? Please be very, very, all of these are dangerous. Okay? But please be very, very careful with this one, especially if anyone's watching this at home. Give me in big trouble. So, got my grip like this. Okay? I pull it tight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up, and I want to step over where his arm is, and then sit back. Hook his leg, keep it balanced, don't just flop. Good, if it flops, it could be bad. And now you finish this by pulling in with your arms and kicking it with your legs, okay? And it's kind of a painful one. If you're not getting it with this kind of a grip, you can go back to your gable grip. Come on for it. It's called the Peruvian necktie. So you're here, you get your gable grip, okay? And I'm on, I'm on one side of his neck, you guys see that? Okay, here we can see him on the one side of his neck. Nice and tight. I'll put my weight on him and I jump up. I keep everything tight and I want to step over where his arm is. And I kind of sit back as if I'm sitting on his head. And now here I am. I've got his legs trapped up. I have this leg trapped so he can't roll. Okay, and I've got over his arm to make sure I've got the right angle. And now that I'm here, I'm pulling him into me and I'm kicking out with my legs. If it's really sharp on the neck, it's more of a crank than a real than a blood choke. 
So please be careful, okay? Did you guys see how bent his neck was? That plus having your hand, like I'm choking myself right now just by doing that to myself. That's what you're doing here, okay? So you're almost like sitting on your opponent's head. Okay, for now maybe stick with the gable grip because that's the same grip we've been using so everyone can get it really well. So same thing, I'm coming under. See how I'm like here on this side? Everything was the same. Here I used my, my elbow on the back of his head to flip him over. Now I'm keeping it really tight and I need to stand up. Okay? I step over his arm and then I sit back almost as if I'm stepping on his head and then my foot comes and hooks his leg. And now I pull in and I get the tap. Just to make sure, a couple wrong ways to do this. Wrong way to do it would be if your grip's on the wrong side. Wrong way to do it would be if you get this here and you stand up and you loosen, e loosen everything, step over and fall back, see his head came out. Okay. So you want to make sure that your hands are on the one side of his neck, gable grip, keep it tight. Stand up, it's still tight. Step over, whereas sit back, hook the leg, and pull in and get your finish, okay? Peruvian necktie, let's try it out. You get 30 free days. That's right, 30 days free. 30 days absolutely free. Experience Kingston's fastest growing workout with 30 days of free instruction in the most effective martial arts systems. That's right, Martial Arts Access is so convinced, if you try it, you'll buy it. We're giving you the first 30 days free. Let our self-defense martial arts systems of Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, and submission wrestling turn you into a lean, mean fighting machine. Call 613-214-2305. I've lost like 30 pounds. I can't see my life today without jujitsu. Um, it was amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed my time here. I learned a lot. Martial arts access is one of the best things I've done. You're very great. You got good teachers. You even got student teachers to help you out. So it's really good. And I suggest anybody else who loves the sports join. It's been really easy for me to learn. Nothing too complicated. Like I thought it was only a lot of flexibility and stuff like that, but pretty easy. So uh, yeah, come join. Competition. Tournament competition, I would literally stay on all fours. With my grip, with my grip and everything, when I step over this, I want to sit down with his head under my thigh. Okay? Because the angle, that cranks the head so far, far, far forward. With a wedge under there, boom, no blood going anywhere. Okay? Really, really tight. And if you notice, I'm kind of diagonal across his body. Now, because we're in training, we're trying to go easy on each other. We give each other a bit of space, but you still, when I sit, like, look, his head is under my thigh, okay? Not under my butt, under my thigh, almost under my knee. I'm sitting down gently, and then I tighten everything up with my feet. And now is when I'm going to pull it and finish the choke, okay? Okay? So try that out. Make sure that you're on an angle. My hands are kind of here, and just pull them up a little bit and feel the back of their head hit right here on your thigh, and you know that you got the right angle. And then just sit back slowly and finish the choke, okay? Hi, I'm Sam. Uh, martial arts access is great. Uh, my first time, I was nervous, but I came here and they were very welcoming. Um, it's very hands-on. It's, it's uh, Daryl's helpful. It shows me what I need to do better. Uh, but yeah, you guys should come check it out. It's a good time. So this one is the head and arm choke. Again, we're with the same the same arm grip that we've been using. Okay? It's the exact same yeah, arm triangle, head and arm choke. It's the exact same thing. Do you see what I'm doing with my hands? That's how we did the rear naked choke. It's how we did the darse choke. It's how we're gonna do this head and arm choke. So again, we're taking it out of context. Seven chokes is a lot to absorb all at once, but because it's all the same movement, it might be a bit easier for you guys, right? That's why I'm showing them to piece together. And then we'll talk about the scenarios where you would use them. So for this one, your partner is just going to give it to you. You're literally just going to have the arm across. And your one arm is going to go deep through behind their head. You lift the head up. Get that arm nice and deep. You're going to palm strike this through. And get your head low. Get your head low so your head's like next to their head. Now you can have your gable grip. You pull it tight. Put it in your bicep. And you bring your arm back onto the back of their arm. So, but you see what we did there? 
Let me do it on the other side, just so they can see. So, I'm going to put the arm through. Because remember, I'm choking, I'm blocking, you have to block both carotid arteries, right? You use your arm for one side, his arm for the other. Lift the head up, I put the arm all the way through, as far as I can. Now I'm here, okay, I'm pulling, it's tight. Same thing we did on the leg at the very, very beginning, right? If I need to, I'll push it, get my head lower. Push it, get my head lower. You can't really get too low. Guys do make the mistake of being too high. Now that I've got this nice and tight, I switch to my, my, my rear naked choke grip, and I go flat, and I'm driving into his arm. Okay, and then I squeeze. Okay, see that? Okay, all right, so we're here. Arm through. Arm through. I lift his head up, I feed my arm under, okay, nice and tight. Now I need to get my head down, okay, I switch, hand on my bicep, hand on his bicep, or hand on the back of my head. I like to put another wedge in there to help push that arm into his neck even more. Now I'm here, sometimes you'll get the choke here, sometimes you can step forward, and if you lift his head up a bit, you can get the crank, like get the choke, it's more of a crank. If not, you go belly down, and you put your weight on the arm and then you squeeze. Okay? Sometimes you get it because it's a good solid blood choke. Sometimes you get it because the person feels like a giant lump in their neck. In a fight, you're just trying to start the fight, get the tap. Just depends. Here's here's a key thing about chokes. Thank you, Thomas. In general, if it's a crank or if you're crushing the trachea, that might work in training with your partners, because again, partners don't want to get hurt, right? We want to keep training. But in a self-defense scenario, someone's on drugs, someone's on the street, they're just even really mad and their adrenaline's going, they will move through the pain, okay? They will keep moving through the pain. That's why we're always trying to improve and get the blood choke. If you get the blood choke in 16 seconds, they are unconscious because there's no fresh blood going to the brain, okay? You suffocate the brain. You hold that for a minute, minute and a half, they're brain dead, okay? I think it's two to seven minutes, you know, if someone hasn't had oxygen, like that's where it starts getting really dangerous, that even if they come back, there'll be some sort of like handicap. They'll, they'll, they'll have some sort of like permanent brain damage. 16 seconds though. So you're always trying to improve and get the blood choke. If you get the crank in that here, that's fine to start. Just keep improving, okay? Keep improving. Hi, my name is Sam. I joined Martial Arts Access a bit over a year ago. Uh, the reason I joined was because I wanted to try something uh, new, different, maybe shake the routine a bit. What I like most about the class is that they're structured around practicing and drilling on a live resisting opponent. So uh, you learn a technique, you practice it on somebody, then if you can, you apply it during a, uh, a sparring session where anything goes. Anyways, if you're interested in trying something new, challenging, and, and fun, uh, give Martial Arts Access a call and uh, try a few classes. Your partner. Okay, I can't choke with this. I need my hands to fight. And he, if it's a real fight, I want to keep them pinned. Okay, look, my butt's up. Everything's, I'm, I'm pinning him, right? So my hands are free to fight. Second thing is when you get this, okay, lift it, get your arm deep, everything's deep. Remember, your head can't be high. You want to get your head down low. Now, a lot of people are getting this, and they were still getting it, and that's okay. That's perfect. You don't necessarily need to go to the rear naked choke grip. You can finish it like this, but there's give. You just push, like, you know what I mean? Pull, and he fights back, and pull. If you lock it up, there's no give. So, but once you're here, okay, and your head's pushing that in, if you're not getting it, look, I come up on my toes, and I start to walk away from his body, okay? And I, I said that to a couple of you, but I want to make sure I said it on camera in front of everyone. If your body is perpendicular or parallel with his, you start walking out to jackknife. And that, that opens up the neck and you're where your arm is, it starts really putting pressure on their neck. So that's just another way, if you're not able to finish it, to start walking around. And there's different variations of the ways guys do this. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the, the grip, but there's guys that walk out. And again, look, I'm pushing in on this arm more as I go perpendicular. Guys like to slide through. And that still gets them perpendicular, where now I'm pushing more on his neck this way. You know what I mean? Cool. And if you lose everything, then you can switch to what's called the seatbelt, um, straight jacket. And this is a kind of a grip where now he can't fight, he can't push me. 
Good. Ok. Uh, my name is, mon nom c'est Lawrence Bourdon. Uh, je suis du RMC. Uh, ça fait, je suis né ici avant, avant Noël 2010 uh, pour uh, m'entraîner. Et ensuite de ça, uh, j'ai arrêté à cause des études. Mais là, j'en reviens ici parce que justement, c'est un bon club. Puis uh, maintenant, il, uh, on est bien situé. Il y a un octogone, et des tapis, tout, du bon monde. Puis uh, on est prêt pour faire uh, du bon sparing. Puis uh, du bon MMA. Fait que uh, les papas venaient, les francophones, les anglophones, uh, tout le monde est bienvenu. Uh, puis uh, c'est vraiment le fun. Hein. First thing I'm going to do is I want to pull Steven down. And now I'm going to wrap his head. Okay? Same concept. I want to try and get my arm tight so my elbows in front of his Adam's apple as much as possible. Okay? Okay, so what I'm doing here is I bring my arm through and then I grab my flesh. And I do that because I don't want to lose any ground with my hand once I get it in there. My hand's coming around flat, okay? Try and get it tight. Now what I do is I make a fist. Remember our little cup hands, cup and saucer? I cup this. A lot of people do this to try and finish the choke. That is not how you do it. You'll crush their windpipe. Might work in training. Probably won't work if the person's drunk on drugs or angry, okay? Really angry or just doesn't care, okay? Come wrap around, grab this. I just let it go, have my fist, I hug it. Now what you do is you pull this tight. See how I've got this kind of V action with my neck? It's my ribs and my forearm and my bicep. And now I finish the choke by pulling and doing a side bend. You see this? This is how you finish the guillotine. Now, to add even another detail, you go like this and hit forward, okay? This, hit forward. And I'm doing that so you guys can see. This is, see that hole. That hole's where their neck is, okay? That's why I took off my shirt, because with it really baggy, you can't quite see. But that, that's where, because even if I get this, you know what I mean? There's still kind of some space there. But you do this, they can't breathe. Then you do that, and then they really can't breathe. Um, you're cutting everything off. And there's, there's even more details we can add on to this. But just to start, okay? Pull his head down, I'm going to come, I wrap my hand flat, grab my flesh. This hand, I'm coming in between his neck and shoulder. This is not an arm in, okay? I'm not through his armpit. Here, okay, got my grip, and then I finish it by hipping forward, twisting, and getting it, okay? You guys see that? So I'm here, like this, hip forward, and pulling. Now, the reason why I shouldn't emphasize the pull forward is just because if he's got my head here, part of the defense is to hold his hips away and get your head out. That's how you defend it. So here, okay, that's part of your defense. You get here, you push his hips away and you get your head out. So for him to defend it, he wants to keep those hips forward. Yeah, so I can't get my head out at all and then I'm really in trouble. Okay, so with your partner standing, just get them, to, they can just bend over, Wrap the head, grab the flesh. Come in cup and saucer, let your flesh go. Now you're gonna pull it tight. Okay, I always think that I wanna touch my shoulder. Okay, pull it tight, and then finish it by twisting and hipping in. Hey, I'm Jesse Jameson. I'm 13 years old, and I am the youngest in the class here at Martial Arts Axis. Master Daryl has been a great teacher. Everyone here is just great to train with. You learn a lot here, and my, I remember my first experience, I was nervous coming in, but I had a great time, and I loved it, and I still do, and you will too. So from mount, from mount it works with the shirt regardless, okay? I'm not gonna do it, because because Thomas is trying to impress the ladies with the shirt. Okay, <laughs> you can also put the hand behind the head. Okay, I'm doing this, I'm just doing an X motion. But what you can also do is just with the gi, Okay, it's a similar thing. The only thing is with the geese, you want to grab the other side and go down. And the reason is so that way when I pull, you, you can still do it without it. But if I do that, there's no give and it goes on much harder, much faster. Okay, so this is the same and it's the exact same thing that you would do with or without the geese. Okay, I'm, again, I'm not going to do it to Thomas because of his shirt, but I would just grab it, pull it behind, and I might want to put a hand behind here. If not, I would just keep close. And if you notice my elbow, when I come over, I'm not pulling back like this. I pull back and then I bring my elbow to my side and then it turns into a row. Okay, I'm literally doing this kind of a thing at the end. Little tip, when you do it, if you just come in here and I grab straight and I go, see all that slack? So even when you're doing this with a shirt, you wanna arc your hand to reach so you're already almost grabbing it behind their neck. Okay, and then when I pull, I'm also flicking my wrist out. Okay, 
I'm flicking and flaring my wrist. So it's almost like I wrap this around his neck like this, and then when I start pulling and it gets really tight, I straighten that out, and it's like I stick my, my, this knife part of my wrist into his neck. Okay, it's not a pleasant thing. It's, it's so you're actually choking him with your arm and not the gi, right? Yeah, and this one. Because now my arm has made the V. It's almost like my fist is now in front of his, his throat. <laughs> Gi's blocking one side, my arm's blocking the other, right? But this is something that you can do with the gi, and you can do it without the gi. Okay, without the gi, you just grab behind. That's where, here, let's just take this, just like that. Without the gi, look, I pass the cloth behind the neck to my hand, and I do the exact same thing. Okay, I'm just going light because I don't want to stretch his shirt. That's why he's well brought his gi behind, through, and over. Okay? Hi, my name is Gary Liu. I'm currently a life science student at Queen's University. I find that after joining Martial Arts Access, I've gained a much better fitness level and new friends. Martial Arts Access has a great welcoming environment from Daryl, the instructor, to the other people. You learn a lot about yourself, your fitness, and you definitely develop a much better sense of where your limbs are at all times, whether you're in the middle of a fight or out of a fight. I highly recommend giving Martial Arts Access a trial, and I'm sure it will be worth your time. You get 30 free days. That's right, 30 days free. 30 days absolutely free. Experience Kingston's fastest growing workout with 30 days of free instruction in the most effective martial arts systems. That's right, Martial Arts Access is so convinced, if you try it, you'll buy it. We're giving you the first 30 days free. Let our self-defense martial arts systems of Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, and submission wrestling turn you into a lean, mean fighting machine. Call 613-214-2305. That's 613-214-2305. And remember, your first 30 days are free and you're under no obligation to get into the best shape of your life, meet new friends, or learn to defend yourself with our world-class martial arts program here in Kingston at Martial Arts Access. Just call 613-214-2305. That's 613-214-2305. Like I said, the 30 days are free, so call now. My wife's proud of me. My martial Arts Access is one of the best things I've done for myself. I really enjoyed my time here. I learned a lot pretty quickly. Uh, they don't just throw you into something that you can't do. They teach you stuff that, you know, it's capable for anybody, even a new guy. It's just, um, I still had a fun with a bunch of good guys. And yeah, you just need to come check it out at least once.